The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to Gail in Tampa. Hey, Gail, what's going on? Hey, love your program. You're amazing. How long have you been listening? Oh, my gosh. Well, off and on for about maybe, I don't know, six or seven years. Oh. I mean, just on the radio, didn't understand the, the um, TV. And then I go out to uh, Seattle once a year. We have a trading club out there. Okay. Okay. And then he started talking in class about your book. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's the guy that I listened to in Florida. And then I started watching your TV live. And it's just amazing. I need to become a tiger. <laughs> well, you're already a tiger. See, you've been out there six years. See, once you check in to TFNN, you can't check out. It's like Hotel California. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sick, I know. <laughs> no, it's great. And um, I um, have some gold I want to try to um, get over to you. And then I want to buy some points for my grandkids. So I appreciate Good. what you're doing. I think it's amazing. You're just really amazing. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. It's a TGIF weekend, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Take action on your ideas. This is a great card, folks. Uh, not only for the beginning of the year, think about it over the weekend, it's where it's at. Doing your best means to take action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down 55, NASDAQ was up 4, S&P's down 3, gold contract off $2.50, trading at 1617 an ounce. Silver, down 60 cents at $28.69 an ounce. Platinum, down 14 at 1,404 an ounce. Copper, flat at 3.43 a pound. Light sweet crude, flat at 101.78 a barrel. Bonds, up 24 ticks, trading out at 120, 143.01. King dollar, up 34 ticks at 81.59. Euro down 67 at 127.21. And the yen down 13 at 76.99. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Refuges to back off here, folks. What you have is this. You get a flat market, sideways market. You did 700 million shares. Bottom line is that 12.92 wants to get hit. You, know, you get four days up here, hanging at the highs, um, you know, Bought that uh, 1292.66 from the 27th, wants to get tagged. We go look at the Dow Industrials. What you have with the Dow Industrials is this. Dow, same setup, back 55, no big deal. You're at uh, 12,359. Uh, Dow's over the uh, 27th. Dow looks like it wants to get into the highs from July. NASDAQ Composite. We go to the Composite. What you have with the Composite is this. She's also just hanging at the highs, up four bucks today. Uh, she closed at uh, 2674. 2674 was over the, this week's highs. NASDAQ Composite wants to go tag that 2753 area. Now, what we can do, of course, because it's uh, Friday, we can turn around and put these babies on a weekly basis, and you can take a look at them on a weekly. On a weekly basis, um, what you have is that, let's see, let's put, I'm going to put the spy on a weekly first. And you got to remember that we were closed Monday, so what ends up happening is that you actually got an add add a day in um, uh, this week. So what we did is this. So we did uh, three hundred uh, six hundred and thirty million shares, and it's going to need more than that. It's going to need one point three billion. So six thirty, you got uh, this ballpark that you got to add. That's seven fifty, approximately seven. Yeah, about seven seven eighty. Uh, 780 is going into 1.3 billion. The 1.3 billion is the number coming from the 20, the week of the 28th. You know that that's how that baby is uh, uh, shaking and baking. We go to the uh, Qs. We take a look at the three Qs. This is what you have with the three Qs. 
three Qs. We did 46 million shares out here today. That 46 million was going into 40 million on the swing point. Bottom line, 57.62 takes that swing point out, does it with volume. The larger swing point, which is going after, is the 27th, which is the 50. 920 area. It's going to need 104 million. Now the, the the amazing deal about even the market today is let's go over to the dollar index. What does the dollar do? Dollar does 26,000 contracts. Not bad. 30,000 is the number, but bottom line does 26,000. Um, stays over the 81.41. Um, and the market didn't get croaked. What that's telling me is that you know what. Uh, what the dollar is doing right now, folks, is that the dollar is doing three drives to the top, and they're just about there. It, it, I can say that they're there right now. You get a few more ticks. Uh, the first drive was uh, the 25th of November. The second drive was up there the uh, de December 14th, and we're doing the third drive right now. So Monday, yeah, you can get a little bit higher Monday, and then uh, what you'll see is that now, now the way, if in fact this is a three drive to the top, top, what happens is that you go back to the Beginning of the drive, and the beginning of the drive is seventy nine, seventy eight. You know, so um, we'll see where that uh, baby uh, shakes and bakes. We go to the gold contract. What do we do with gold out here today? There she is. Gold contract out here, uh, sixteen hundred and seventeen dollars. We went to sixteen thirty two. Couldn't hold that level. Did one hundred and forty six thousand contracts. Those contracts, folks. Uh, going into uh, big, big numbers. You're talking about 284,000. You know, so um, that's going to need a lot more juice in order to get into higher price. Uh, what I do expect, I, I expect, you know, it, w w gold can get, can I bounce up to that 1670. There's, there's no two ways about it. Particularly um, if you have the uh, dollar pull back, give it some breathing room. Uh, but the gold market has not finished the correction that it has been in. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go to uh, Mai in San Jose. Hey, Mai, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. I appreciate it. Uh, you are very welcome, and thank you for your show. I love your show. Thank you. So how, how long have you been listening? Uh, actually, only five months. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're a new tigress. Yes, I'm new. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Well, we appreciate you listening, Mai. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm looking for the Netflix. Okay. You see a lot today. They run up a lot. Okay, let's take a look at it. We get Netflix, NFLX, NFLX. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so, oh yeah, up uh, almost uh, 8%. So Netflix goes up 8%. Okay, now do you own this? You're looking to buy it? What are we doing here? I'm looking for buy. Okay, so what you had is this. Let's bring this back a little. Now, this is an equity that absolutely got smoked, no doubt about that. Uh, this equity went from a price point of 300 bucks down to 68 Man, oh, man, amazing. Okay, now, in that context, what it's done, folks, is this. It has um, tested the lows, did it with dramatically lighter volume. Last time, uh, when it got down to 74 you had 45 million shares traded. It tested that with 5 million. That's on the daily. On the weekly, what we had is that the weekly came down with 101 million shares, and it tested that on 43. Now, what you had here is that you had your, your first small sign of strength come off that low. The way that you want to trade this, my, is don't jump on it right now, because what, what, you, what, you, what you do have is this. You were, you're at 86. Yes, it does want to go into 92 at this point, okay? Yes. But what you do is you wait for a pullback. Now, that pullback more than likely will bring it all the way back to somewhere around, it can, it can actually get to 76 again. Oh, and wh I where I'm going with the 76 is this. What you have, folks, is this. On December 12th, you actually had just a small sign of strength, nothing heavy. The stock went from 69 to 76. Then it pulls back to the 66 area, light volume. You had someone coming in at three days ago, 14 million, sideways move, someone come back in it again today. When you see that acceleration up, more than likely it's gonna to get to the top or the bottom of the middle of that gap, the, you know, that, the last gap down. Then 
you get a pullback. As long as that pullback's on lighter volume, then you can get into some action there. I see. Okay. Thank you. You have a great one. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And you know, it was interesting. Let me see what they're saying about that Netflix. Because you know who's going to be, let's see, Netflix, uh, Redbox, Netflix. It's not saying much. But what you do have is that the um, Yahoo, you know, uh, the new CEO there, folks, Yahoo is going to be on the prowl here. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, if, in fact, this new CEO can fix Yahoo. Uh, and the way that I suspect the fix is going to be, or try to be, is that Yahoo has a base that is absolutely huge, right? But that base is not monetized as much as it could be. It's not a base like an Amazon. You know, Amazon picture, if you're an Amazon's base, what, you're giving... You're buying something, you know, quite a bit. If you're in an Apple base, you're buying something quite a bit. Uh, the the Yahoo base is, is different, you know, dramatically different too, you know, because of the way that the just Yahoo is set up. It's an advertising based model versus the subscription based model that you have with Amazon, the subscription based model that you have with uh, Apple, you know. And I suspect, uh, you know, the way that they are looking at. Uh, the way the new CEO is looking at it, you got to remember the new CEO. He was he came from Visa into uh, PayPal. Uh, bottom line, made PayPal really easy to use. Number one, um, you know, double the transactions. So bottom line, as I expect, uh, he's going to be uh, strategically uh, doing uh, larger things with Yahoo. Let's get to Sue in Colorado. Hey Sue, what's going on? Good, how are you? Can you hear me? I sure can. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for taking my call, Tom. Enjoy hearing you. Uh, you make sense of a crazy world out there sometimes, or you put some logic with it, which helps. Thank you. So, um, most of my money is sitting in a, a 401k, and so, you know, I, I really can't short the market. You just have to buy and hold kind of thing there. And, yes. Uh, Admittedly, I, I pulled the money off the table for the most part in my 401k, and um, I'm just wondering. You know, uh, it, it's hard to predict, and you know, we're we're at a certain point where it could kind of go either way. And I, I'm just really toggling on when to kind of get back in for short term slash long term. Okay, great. Let's talk about it. Now, if you're in the same situation as Sue is, folks, these are the two benchmarks that you want to be all over. Look at that. These Time flies. You just stay right there with us, okay? When we come back, we're going to talk about these benchmarks. And they're very clear, folks. These benchmarks are absolutely clear. And this is going to be a patience game. We ended out down 55. NASDAQ was up 4. S&P's down 3. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.